Good morning, Body Bosses. How's everyone doing this morning? Good? So we're trying out different times. Let us know what times are best for you. If you guys like the Monday mornings, like the Saturday mornings, like whatever time you want, let us know. Um, we're trying this out, and of course, you can always watch them later. My name is Dina. Today, we're going to be doing upper body blast. All right, so we're going to be targeting our shoulders, biceps, triceps, that upper body. All right, so first we're gonna take it into a warm up. Let's take it to a light jog. If you want, feel free to keep it out of march. Go for the first five minutes is just to get that heart rate up. So we're jogging it out, using those arms to help jog. Nice. All right, next we're gonna take it into high knees. So getting those knees up to those hips, if not, you're hopping with one knee at a time or just taking it into a knee march. And of course, we're always using those arms to pump up those lower bodies. Nice job, guys. Going into a jumping jack in three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Way to go, modification, one arm, one leg at a time. Keep it up. Nice shot for four, three, two, and one. We're gonna spread those legs out to get side to side. Tick tock those legs. Goal for this is to open up through those hips. Let's get those arms warmed up. Bicep curl those arms, with those imaginary dumbbells. So by the end of this five minutes, I want those heart rates to be elevated, those bodies to be warm, maybe starting to break the sweat. In the butt kickers in three, two, one. Kicking those glutes with your heels so feet are flexed, butts are being kicked. Nice. Arms are pumping up and down. Modification, keep them down here. And if you need to, just step and kick one leg at a time. If not, you're up here with me. Keep it up for four, three, going into jump rope in two. One, jump rope. Way to go, guys. Modification, alternate legs, or feel free to take it to that march. The walking march. If not, we're jumping with that imaginary jump rope. On deck is high knees. In three, two, one. Let's get those knees up. Nice, can you get them higher this time? Have those hands out in front of you. Pump those knees up, pulling them up. Belly is in, letting those abs draw your knees up. You have five, four, three, two, one, jumping jacks. Nice job, keep it up. Take that modification if you need to. And we're gonna take it into seal jacks. So legs stay the same. Gonna take those arms back and forward. Awesome. So we're stretching out that chest. Again, modification. One leg out at a time, opening up through your chest. Keep it up. Four, three, two, and butt kickers, one. Nice, so you're hitting those glutes every single time. Arms are pumping up and down. Just getting that heart rate up so we can get ready to target those lower bodies. You got it. Four, three, two, TikToks, one. Nice job, guys, how are you feeling? Hopefully you're starting to get warm. 
We got one more round to go through these. We'll do a few stretches, then we'll get started. Jump rope in four, three, two, one. Jump rope right into it. Can we get those double unders? Get that rope under you twice. Again, if you're at that modification, you're down here, you're alternating legs, totally cool. Keep it up, double unders for four. Three, two, right into high knees and one. High knees. Woo. Nice job. Smooth transitions. Can we pump those knees up even higher? Come on. Keep it up for six, five, jumping jack and four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. So for your jumping jack, you're pulling those arms up and down, seal jacks. You're reaching out in front of you and back, all right? We'll take it to seal jacks in three, two, one. Out and back. Nice job, guys. Keep it up. Keep it going. All right. Three, two, one. TikToks. Curling those arms every single time. Nice job. Keep it up. We have five, four, three, two. One, awesome job. Way to go with that cardio warm up. Let's slowly roll out that neck. So starting on your right side, rolling around to your left, not making a full circle, sticking with a half circle in front of you. Nice job, neck circles, breathing through it, stretching out your neck. All right, bring that head center. Let's start reversing it, starting with your back. Half circles behind you. Nice. Hang your head to one side, take the opposite hand, flex it, feel that stretch through your neck. All right, you should feel that stretch right in there through your neck and go ahead, release. Roll the head to the other side. Flex that other hand. I'm gonna feel that stretch, same thing, opposite side. Awesome job. Now let's take those arms into small circles. We did these on Saturday. We're definitely gonna to want, to, want to do them today. Hitting those arms today. Arms, shoulders, back. A Little bit of chest as well. A Little bit of everything. Nice, take those circles, make them bigger. So we'll have days where we'll just focus on one single body part, maybe two single body parts. Today we're just focusing on that whole upper body. So not one particular muscle, but a bunch of groups of muscles all in that upper body, all right? Big circles, feeling that stretch. And let's go ahead and take small circles back the other way. Nice, we're breathing through it and start to make them bigger and bigger. Way to go, guys. Now that our bodies are warmed up, we'll take it to a quick stretch. So let's take one arm out in front, holding either above or below that elbow joint, never on the joint itself. And go ahead, open up, release. Let's take it other arm. All right, awesome job. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna have three rounds. We're gonna have four rounds, three moves. We're gonna start with 30 second rounds, all right? So first you're gonna wanna hook to 15. So that's through one to five, all right? So you're going through the number one, loops through it, hooks on to five. If you wanna make it easier, you can take it to 35, 45. So something that would make your rope longer, make your resistance bands longer, We'll make it easier, all right? If you wanna make it harder, you can hook two bands into each one. All right, so your, for your first move, it's gonna be a bicep curl, all right? 
So that upper arm stays completely isolated, stay still, we're hinging at those elbows only. For your tricep kickbacks, I'm gonna turn the board, and you're gonna wanna either face away from me or turn your board as well, because we want, we want those ropes to be coming out this way. So you're gonna take those triceps and kick them back, and for your overhead press, Actually, for your triceps, we'll keep it facing one. Yeah, we can keep it all this way. And then for your overhead press, we'll start up at your shoulders and press it above. All right? So we're at 15 for all of them. We're going to start with 30 second rounds and then we'll change it up a bit. And then we'll add some pulses. We'll do a few fun things with it. All right? So I'm getting the timer ready. I'm going to start with 30 second rounds, starting with those bicep curls. All right? And if you try this out right now with me, just for this intro and you felt it was too easy, go ahead, attach another band to it, double up the bands. If it's too hard, again, you can take it to 35 to 45 or even just at five and make it a little easier, all right? First round starts in three, two, one, bicep curls. So we're curling, we're isolating those upper arms. We only wanna be hinging at those elbows, all right? So this upper arm, is moving a lot, you want it to stay completely still, you're just curling up and back, all right? Sticking with it more than halfway through. Your, your final 10 is coming up right now. You're at six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it to tricep kickbacks. So you can either squeeze the handlebars like this outside of the band or you can hold it inside and you're just kicking back those triceps like this. In three, two, one. So I'm actually gonna turn it just so you can see me better, but keep it up at home. Nice job. So you wanna bend over core is tight. We're squeezing those abs in. Most important thing here though, is that those upper arms again stay isolated. We only wanna be hinging at those elbows, all right? So you wanna keep that elbow back. You're hinging here, squeezing at the top of every kickback, all right? You have six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking it to overhead press next. So you wanna start those dumbbells at your shoulders. Shoulder press up, all right? In five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So since we're taking these bands higher than we did for your other two, if this is too difficult, feel free to take it down on your knees, overhead press up, all right? If not, you're up here with me. And another option other than your knees would be to shorten the bands, as I said, so to take it to 35, 45, whatever you want, final 10. Inhale as we come down, exhale as we push up, you have three, Two, one, we're back to the top, bicep curls. All right, bicep curls in three, two, one, pick it up. Nice job, we're isolating those upper arms, those biceps. So your upper arms are cons consist of two separate muscle groups, two main separate muscle groups, I should say. So your biceps and your triceps, your biceps are in front, Triceps are in back. So triceps make the majority of the arm, but biceps are also a big part of it too. So that's what we're targeting right now. The next move, we'll target those tries. Keep it up, you have three, two, one. All right, I'm just gonna rotate just so you can see me better. I want you guys really focus on keeping that core tight, squeezing that belly, keeping that upper arm here, not lower. We don't want it to be here. The upper arm stays back and we're squeezing. Nice. Squeeze every time you get to the top. This is a really good burn. And so what's great about the body boss is that since you are connected to these bands, your core is always working as long as you keep it engaged. But it's always trying to engage that core. Let it work for you. So pull that belly button in, squeeze those abs. You're under 10 seconds. Squeeze those triceps every time you come up. You wanna feel that burn right in the back of your arm. You have three, two, one. 
overhead press. Coming up in eight, seven, six, or so starting up at those shoulders, pressing up in three, two, one. Overhead press. So if you want, you can take the bands behind you. If not, I prefer in front because that way they don't get caught up in your arms. To make it a little easier, you can use some of that lower body force. You can bend those knees and explode up. It does take a little bit away from your shoulders. So if you want to just completely isolate those shoulders, stick with the overhead press. Don't use those legs for assistance. Nice job, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're down to those bicep curls. This is your last round of plain bicep curls, all right? After this, we'll change it up a little bit. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bicep curls. Nice job, guys. Exhaling as we come up, inhaling as you come back down. So we're always exhaling whenever we do the work, inhaling as you come back down. If you want to challenge yourself, change it up a little bit. Have your palms facing towards you now. Hammer curls for the final 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have tricep extensions. So again, we want to be here, not here. Here, and you're squeezing right back at the top. Going in three, two, one. Tricep extensions, nice. That core is engaged, belly button is pulled to that spine. You're making that waist as little as you can make it. 21, 20, 19. Nice job guys, keeping up with it, sticking with it. We have a few more people who joined us, that's awesome. Let's keep pumping those triceps for under 10 seconds. Squeezing at the top of every extension. Three, two, one. Overhead press, last time with just those plain overhead presses. All right, if you need to, take it down here. It'll make the band less resistant. We're going in three, two, one. So right now we're working those deltoid muscles, that's your shoulders, right up top. Nice job, guys, keep it up. 23, 22. 21. And if you want another modification, one shoulder at a time, one press at a time. Whatever you need to do, but don't quit working. We're under 10 seconds. You have four, three, two, one. All right, this next round is going to be 20 second rounds. Same moves, except we're going to pulse it. All right. So for those bicep curls, feel free to pulse it. If you want, you can add another band if that's too easy. We're pulsing it for a full 20 seconds. Same thing for tricep kickbacks. We're squeezing up at the top and you're pulsing it up here, all right? For those overhead presses, you can pulse it halfway, all right? That's your 20 second. We're gonna burn out each move. Final round, pick it up right here. Pulse those bicep curls. If halfway, that 90 degree angle is too easy, take it almost all the way up and pulse it here, bicep curls. Or add another band, but we're already at 11, 10, nine, keep pulsing it out, eight, seven, six, keep pulsing it out, small pulses, three, two, one. Awesome job, tricep extensions next. So I want you guys to take it all the way back and then pulse it right here, all right? Hinging out that elbow, going in three, two, one. So we're squeezing at the top. This should really burn right here. You really want to feel that burn right here at the top. Small movements. So if you don't want to think of it as a pulse, think of it as a quarter of a rep. So you're not doing the whole rep, just squeezing at the top. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Overhead press. So we'll squeeze about halfway. All right? Pulse it out here. Little movements. Going in five. Four, three, two, one. Nice, we're burning out those shoulders. 17, 16, 15, 
14. Little movement, stick with it. No one drops. We're already at that 10. We're working together here, guys. Keep it up. You have six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake out those arms. Way to go, guys. All right. Grab a drink of water. Our next round is gonna be a cardio round, all right? So grab that drink of water. We're gonna start with 40 second rounds, then we're gonna to drop to 30 second rounds, and then 20 second rounds, all right? So you're not gonna need your body boss for the next round. We're just gonna work on getting that heart rate up, away from it, and then we'll jump back on it, all right? So your first move is gonna be a plank jack. So you're down in that plank, straight line, shoulders to heels, jumping those legs out and in. So I'm not sure if you can see me from the video. You're planking out and in. All right, modification, step one leg out, one leg out, in, in, all right? So it's out, out, in, in. That's your first move. Your second move is mountain climbers, all right? So you're just hiking those knees in. And your third move is a burpee. So you jump up, down, you can add a push up if you want, and back up. All right? Modification, no push up. Another modification, you step it out, out, in, in, stand it up. All right? If you don't like the burpee at all, jumping jacks. All right? That's your move instead of your burpee or march it out. Anything you gotta do to keep moving. Okay? So plank jacks, we have our 40 second round of each move. In three, two, one. Pick it up right here. Straight line, shoulders, the heels. So the reason why it's called a plank jack is like you're doing a jumping jack, but only those legs are moving. Keep it up, guys. We're under 30 seconds. Way to go. So we're also gonna continue to burn out those shoulders, those arms, because they're holding you in that plank. So a few things to look at for your form when you're in plank. We want those wrists right beneath your shoulders. Butts are down. You're looking about a foot or two ahead of your hands. All right? Belly is in. You have two, one. On deck is mountain climbers. So you're hiking those knees in in three, two, one. Pick it up. So we never want to let that head fall in between those arms. Head is always gazing just ahead. All right. Belly in, way to go. You're at 28, 27, I'm watching you guys. Keep it up. 23, 22, 21. Under 15. Final 10 right here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Burpees on deck. Coming up, we have that burpee in three, two, one. Again, modification, take it to a march, take it to a jumping jack, all right? Whatever you gotta do to keep it up. This is our only segment that's not on the body boss. We're just doing an explosion, all right? Shooting the heart rate up before we get back on the body boss. 18, 17, challengers add that push up in. 15, approaching that final 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. 30 second rounds, starting with those plank jacks. Coming up, dropping it down into a plank. Everyone drops down into a plank right here in three, two, one, plank jacks. Straight line, shoulders to heels. We never want those butts up in the air. If you have that butt up, squeeze those hips, squeeze those glutes, flex those quads. There you go. Again, modification, step it out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Nice, so this is just a supplement to our upper body workout. We're gonna burn out those arms and shoulders, holding yourself in that plank. Three, two, one, we have mountain climbers. 
You're staying up in that plank. Going in three, two, one. Sprinting it in. Modification, one knee comes in at a time. Another modification, feel free to hold that plank. Holding that plank is just awesome as well. If you want, take it to shoulder taps. If not, you're up top with me, we're already at 12, 11, 10, six, five, four, three, two, one, burpees. Last 30 second move, going in five, four, three, two, one, pick it up. So the burpee is you're coming down to the plank, option, add a push up, and you hop back up. Again, the modification is stepping out, out, in, in, or do those jumping jacks, but stick with whatever move you do, all right? Final 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, awesome job. Final round coming up. We're gonna revisit those moves one more time, and this is it, okay? Quick blitz round. We'll do each move only for 20 seconds, starting with those plank jacks, all right? So drop down your plank. Everyone's down in a plank. We're going in three with those plank jacks. Two, one. These are gonna fly by. It's half the amount of time that we did for that first round. We started with 40, we're ending with 20 seconds. Already halfway through, under 10 seconds. You have six. Five, no one drops down. Three, two, can you stay up for mountain climbers? In five, four, three, two, one, mountain climbers. Nice, we're getting that cardio in. We're working through those shoulders, those arms, in your mountain climbers. We're already at 10 seconds, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one burpees on deck. This is it. 20 seconds of burpees. We're back to the body boss in three, two, one. Can you add that push up in? Final round. Come on. Final 10 seconds. Whatever you're doing, you're moving. I don't care what your move is. Stick with it. You have five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Grab that drink of water. You deserve it. All right, we're already back to those moves. 30 second moves, all right? So we're gonna start at 31 for this round. So you're going through number three, hooking on to one. So let me bring that closer for you guys. If you're new to Body Boss, let me show you how to hook it up. So we went through Number three, this is number three right here. Through number three, hooked it onto one. So I'll do it on this side too. Going through number three, hooking onto one. That's how we get our number 31, all right? All right, so we're gonna tackle those shoulders again. We're gonna hit those backs, okay? First round we did biceps, triceps, shoulders. We're doing shoulders once again and back. So we're gonna start with a front raise. Actually, we're gonna set up two bands this round, all right? So our first one is 31. Our second one is 125. Big number, right? So what does that mean? That means we hook through one, through two, and then we hook onto number five. So try to put it underneath your first band. All right, I'll take this closer to you guys so you can see it. This is what it looks like. So I'll do it again for you guys. 
through one. So I'm hooking through one, through, no, this is number two, hooking through two. So you see it's through one, through two, and I'm going underneath the other band and then hooking on to five. Hooked on to five, okay? This will just make it easier. That way we don't have to keep switching setup in between our rounds. But first we're starting out with those 13s. All right, so our first move is gonna be a front raise. Second move is gonna be a side raise. So we're targeting the shoulder. Front raise, side raise. That's your first two moves. And your last move is gonna be a bent over row. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take those. We're gonna switch the handlebars onto the other bands in a row. And I'm gonna actually have you turn you're gonna face your number one, okay? And we're rowing back. Make sense? We'll get there when we get to that final and third move, but first we're gonna focus on front raise and side raise. We're gonna do the same kind of round. You're gonna do 30 seconds each move, and then we're gonna pulse that third round, okay? So grab those handlebars, we're starting with front raise only. front raise. So most important thing here is that we never go higher than your eyebrows. Brow height is the highest you want to go working those shoulders. All right. So this is what it looks like from the side. We're working those shoulders. Again, modification, take one arm at a time. You can put it at a lower setting. So instead of 31, you can take it to 21, release some of that tension. You have five, four, three, Two, one. Next, we're gonna take it to side raises. Same thing here, we never wanna go higher than those ears, okay? Starting in seven, six, five, four. Going in three, two, one. So you have a slight bend in those elbows. Well, we wanna keep those arms relatively straight. So you're coming out and coming back down. Staying controlled as you come up and controlled as you come down. We're not going higher than those ears. Coming out and back in. Exhale as you pull out. Inhale as you come back down. We're under 10 seconds. Nice job. Slight bend in those elbows. You have three, two, one. Go ahead, unhook those bands from your handlebars. We're gonna hook it on to your 125s. All right, so you do want to be facing the ones. So you can go ahead and turn your body boss. Because you want the bands to be coming in front of you, and you want to be pulling them back. Okay, so you want to face the ones. If you have them in 125, it's going through one, through two, hooking on to five. I'm just going to face sideways, that way you can see the movement. What you want to be doing is you want to be pulling those elbows back, brushing those elbows up against your side. You're bending at your hips. So you're hinting at your hips like we did with those tricep kickbacks, right? That first round we did these. This time you're coming in this motion. So you're just scraping those elbows on your side. What you want to be doing is squeezing those shoulder blades back together. You're working those back muscles, all right? So you're squeezing. You're trying to hold something in between those two shoulder blades every time you come back. Your back is supported by that tight strong core so you're hinging here you're squeezing that belly to support to work not only those abs but to support that back and you're rowing every single time all right so let's hit those rows let's get this timer up we have 30 seconds of rows in three you're facing the one three two one awesome job Nice. Rowing it back. So squeezing at the top of every row. We're hinging at those hips. Core is tight. We're under 10 seconds. You're brushing those elbows to those sides. You have four, three, two, one. Let's make this a quick transition. 
Take off your handlebars, we're putting them back on your 31. So put each bar onto those hooks. Front raise, side raise. 30 seconds starts in three, two, one. Front raise first, front raise only. Nice job, guys. No higher than those eyebrows. So right now we're working those shoulders, we're working the fronts of those shoulders. Keep it up. You got it. Front raise and back down. Controlling up and controlling down. Three, two, one. Next we're gonna take it to side raise. Same thing as we did, going in 10. So you're exhaling as you come up, no higher than those ears, and bringing those arms back down. You wanna feel that work in your shoulders. Three, two, one. Twenty three, twenty two, twenty one, and back down. Slight bend in those elbows, so we don't want to be stick straight. We want to have a slight bend. All right, coming up and back down. You have five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna unhook, switch it to those rows. And you want to turn that board around so you're facing the one. And what I guess I could have done, instead of making it 521, I would have done it 125. Or instead of 125, I could have done it 521 so I didn't make you guys switch your boards around. And you don't have to switch it around, but just if you want to stay watching with us, you can. All right, so we have 30 seconds, starting in three. Two, one, taking it back to that row. So you want the bands coming in front of you. See how the bands are coming in front of me? They're in front of my feet. We're pulling back. So you're squeezing back as far as you can. So doing this with purpose. So you can easily just pull back and forth, right? We want to think about squeezing those shoulder blades back together every single time. Hold it for a second at the top. Just pause every time you get to the top and release. You have five, give me two more reps. Four, three, one more rep, two, and one. Awesome job, last time through. Front raise, side raise. So unhook those handles. Going back to the front raise, side raise. This time, we're gonna go one minute, instead of breaking it down into two 30 second rounds with one front raise and then side raise, we're just gonna do front raise, side raise together. All right? Three, two, one. So you're gonna alternate, you're gonna take it to a front raise, release, side raise, release. Awesome job. Last round through. Front raise, release, side raise. So exhale, release, exhale, and inhale. Again, to make it easier, feel free to take it down on the ground. This might release too much tension. If not, nice job guys, keep it up. We're about halfway through, not keep it up here. Again, if this is too easy, take it to 15 instead of 13. So just go ahead, add some more tension, front raise, Side raise. If you need that modification, one arm at a time is totally cool. You're just sticking with it. Way to go. Final 10 seconds here. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, give me two more reps. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to release, unhook the handlebars. Then we're going to hook it onto the back. All right, so again, we wanna face that one. And as I said, instead of turning 125, 
You could have easily done 521, and that way it would have been coming from the back. That was my mistake, so go ahead, flip, and face towards the one. All right, and again, I'm gonna take it from the side just so you can see the movement. We're going in three with those rows, two, one. Sweeping those elbows, brushing them up against your side. You're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Again, you're squeezing them together. Really pause at the top and come back down. Squeeze, pause, and come back down. Nice job, you're at 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Come on, give me two more reps. Three, two, one. Way to go. And we're gonna start with the rows and we're gonna work our way back. So we already have the rows set up. We're gonna take it to pulses, 20 second pulses, all right? Starting back here, this is a quick round, only 20 seconds, you've been doing 30. This is gonna go by fast. Starting with those rows in three, two, one. We're burning out each move. Just pulse it here. Way to go, guys. Pulse, 15, 14, 13, 12. You're pulsing at the top of this move, so at the very back of that row. Nice job, you have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Way to go. Release it, we're gonna pulse at the top of the front raise. Pulse at the top of the side raise. So unhook, and these are quick. These are gonna be short movements for a short amount of time. Sound good? So flip it back to that 31. You're pulsing out that front raise, pulsing out that side raise. So we're starting, we have 20 seconds. So again, I want you guys to be almost at the top of that movement. So the top is no higher than brow height. We're pulsing out here. We're gonna burn out those shoulders. You have five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it. Way to go. Feet are about shoulder width apart or hip width apart, whatever you want. We're pulsing it here. Come on, stick with it. Whatever you gotta do, we have 10 seconds. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Seven, six, five. This is tough, I know. Stick with it. Two. One, go ahead, shake out those arms. Same thing for those side raises. All right, you're pulsing it here. In three, two, and one, pick it up. Pulsing at the top. This should burn. If this is too difficult, as I said, take it down on your knees, take it down on one knee, bend over if you need to, but we're pulsing it out. You have seven, six, five, Four, stick with it. Three, two, one, woo. Shake out those arms. Way to go, guys. All right, so we have one. Actually, grab your drink of water first. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? We have one final set. So for the last set, we're gonna hit those jabs, hit those punches, burn out those arms, all right? So we're taking it to 31. So you can unhook the one, we can set, you only need one strap, unless you know you'll need two. If the one strap is usually too easy for your jabs, for your punches, then feel free to take it with two. And you might not know if you need two yet, so if this feels too easy once we start, then go ahead and add a second band. So we're taking it to 31. Here, actually, I'll show you guys. 31, so it's through three, hook one. And you're gonna be facing the one. Through three, hook to one. So whenever we say a number, the first number is what you go through, the second number is what you're hooking onto. You're gonna want your wrist straps. So you're hooking on your wrist straps. All right. So everyone got their water, everyone got set up. I'll give you a moment. Thanks, Dennis. Very sweet of you. All right. So we're gonna take those wrist straps. Oh, don't get tangled in them. All right. You're gonna wrap them around your wrist. 
You want to make it snug that way it's supported around your wrist. It's too loose, you don't want it really wiggling around your wrist. Nice, you're taking it snug. We're going to work through those jabs first. So jabs are a quick little punch. We're going to start with our right side. So right side only, okay? You choose whichever right is your right, all right? So you're going to take it to a jab up, jab down. So you're kind of, you're taking down in that squat for that low jab. So you're jabbing low, jabbing high, low, high. We're just hitting that right arm. So you're working that through that whole body, that entire body with your squat, and you're hitting those jabs with your arm, also working that core as we keep that core tight. And that's whenever we're doing any body boss movement, right? So let me grab that timer. So you don't need to be hooked up to your other band, but if you want, I think it makes it a little harder, it makes it more resistant. So you can hook up to both if you want. All right, we have 30 second rounds. Going in three, right arm first, two, one. Jab up, jab down. Jab up, down. These are quick. Up, down. So you're working those shoulders, working through those arms. Jab up, jab down. Nice job, keep it up. Up and down, working down in that squat, you're under 10 seconds. These are quick jabs, you're taking that arm in as quickly as you take it out. Five, four, three, Two, one, we're switching sides. All right, so same thing. You want these jabs to be quick. All right, seven, six, five, we're switching arms at four. Three, get ready, two, one, and explode. Up, down, up, down, woo. Get that cardio burn, get that core, and we're burning out those arms. Final 18, 17. 16, 15. Nice job, guys. Final 10. Come on, pick up that pace. Quick jab, high jab, low jab. Five, four, three, two, one. Our last move is going to be a punch across our body, rotating the same foot. So if I'm punching with a, my left arm, I'm rotating my left foot. Punching across your body. Three, two, one, punch, punch, nice job, working those abs here, keeping your feet on your body boss, core is tight, really think about that core, punching across your body, working those arms, 12, 11, 10, 9, Woo. sticking with it, you have 5, 4, 3, 2, one awesome job. We have two more rounds of each move, starting with that jab up, jab down, high jab, low jab. All right, adjust whatever you need to. We're going in five seconds, starting with that first arm. It's three, two, one, pick it up. Woo, high, low, high, low. Dropping down in that squat, so we're not just bending down, we're squatting down. This versus this. Drop those booties. Come on. Already at that final 10 right here. Come on. <sighs> Breathing through it. High jab, low jab. How high can you get that high jab? Come on. Three, two, one. All right. Other arm on deck. High jab, low jab. In five, four, three. Get ready to bring it in two. One, let's go. Woo. Come on. High, low, high, low. Come on. Can you get that high jab higher? Your opponent is taller than you. Can you get them right square in that face? Come on, keep it up. Final 10 right here. You have six, five, come on, four, three, two, one. All right, we're punching across our body. Again, same foot pivot. So you punch with your right, you pivot with your right. That way we embrace that core, we engage that core and make it involved. Going in three, two, one, punching across the body. 
full punches. So I don't want to see any of this. I want a full punch across the body. Make those arms continue to work for you. You have 20, 19. Breathing through it, exhaling through those punches. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Come on to that bell. 3, 2, 1. Nice job. One final round. We're going to switch it up this time. Double jab high, double jab low. Actually, let's make it a little challenging. Double jab high, one jab low. Double jab high, one jab low. All right, three, two, one. It's two high, one low. Sticking with one arm. Two high, one low. Can you make that high a little higher? I know it's tough. Trust me, I'm doing it with you. It's not easy. Keep it up. Using that core, we're hitting abs, we're hitting arms, getting that cardio, that last bit of work for the day. Final round of class, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Other arm on deck, two high, one low. All right, catch your breath, going in seven. Three, two, one, two high, one low. Woo. Can you get this other arm as high as your first arm? We usually start with our dominant arm. Let's see if we can match it with our non-dominant arm. That same intensity, that same pace. Come on, keep it up. Approaching that final 10 right here. We're under 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, one more round, punches across that body. We're rotating, all right, again, none of this. I want a full punch, punch. Difference between a jab and a punch. Punch, you have that follow through, jab is just quick and little. Two, one, pick it up. Punching across our body, following through, using that leg, that pivot, that core to support you, keep it up. Final round of the day. Final 15 seconds of the day. Stick with it, no one drops. Keep it up. Final 10. That's 10, come on, keep it up. You have five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Awesome job, go ahead, release those wrist straps, grab a quick drink of water, we'll stretch it out together. We'll tell our time to hush. All right. So we'll go ahead. Let's open up through that chest. And let's take those hands out in front of us. We're stretching out those shoulder blades, peeling those shoulder blades apart. All right. So for those rows, we squeeze them together. This time we're pulling them apart. Awesome job. Go ahead, open up through that chest again. Open up through your back and let's take those hands back behind you. Now we're stretching out through those pectoral muscles, that chest, we did those planks. Start stretching out through those and go ahead, hinging at your hips, drop your head down to the ground and hold it there, way to go. And slowly roll it up, head is the last thing to come up, roll it up vertebrae by vertebrae. All right, and let's take one arm back behind our heads Stretching through your triceps, through your shoulders, and continue to stretch in the opposite direction of where your arm is coming from. So if your right arm is up, you lean over to your left for stretching out through your back, through your sides. And go ahead, release. Drop that arm, let's take it other side. Stretching out through the triceps, your triceps and your shoulders. Again, my name is Dina, please give me feedback. Questions, comments, I'm happy to answer them. Happy to do what you want. That's what I'm here for. To give you guys the best workout you want. Go ahead, continue to lean and stretch on that other side. If you didn't get that full stretch, we'll do one last stretch. One arm comes across your body, either above or below your elbow joint. So today was upper body. My next class I'm gonna do with you guys is gonna be a lower body. Then we can take it more specific to specific muscles if that's what you guys want. We can do more cardio, less cardio. You let me know. This class is for you, all right? Let me know if you have any questions about the body boss. 
you're interested in buying one, if you don't have one already or you want to buy another one, at checkout, use code DINA. So it's my name, it's just D-I-N-A. Don't need to worry about capitalizing or lowercase. And go ahead, shake it out. Stretch out whatever else you need to while your body's warm. It's the best time to stretch it out. So go ahead, use that coupon code. Um, and please let me know if you have any questions at all. Any questions, comments. You didn't like something, you love something, you want me to do it again. You don't want me to do something. This is your class, so let me know. All right, have an awesome week. Happy Monday, everyone.